if that wasn't a sign, baby, I don't know what was. So I got them. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I got home, I ended up not going to the gym, I think I'm just gonna work out um, in the house today, it's a little bit later, I did some shopping after work, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got, cause I'm mad excited, um, I really think I'm stepping into my era, like, I really think I am, like, I'm taking things slow, um, and I'm just like being mindful of everything I do for real, um, and I'm just trying to, I don't want to say like live life to the fullest, but just like take my time. Like, you know what I mean? So, and just be content with what I do in this lifetime. So, um, I did a little bit of shopping. Let me show you guys what I got. Hold on. I'm, you could tell I'm too hyped about this camera. Okay. And I also came to the realization that my lighting in my room is just never going to be great. So I have to use a light every time I either use my phone or my camera. Because the lighting in my room sucks until I get new lights in my room. And it's hard to do that because, you know, I've lived here my whole, not my whole life, but I lived here for a while. And this lighting, this that's just how this shit comes. So y'all know that I work out in the house. And I needed like heavier weights to work out with. So I got these from Five Below. There's these like eight pound weights that are like five bucks. So I got these so I could like really like, you know, I'm about to shred. So I also went to Nordstrom Rack because I needed some things um, out of Nordstrom Rack. Well, I didn't need anything out of Nordstrom Rack. But there's something I've been seeing for a while and I'm taking a trip soon. In the middle of October and I always travel with like a little bit of jewelry like how I have this and this on it's like what I wear every day and I just needed something to put my jewelry in when I travel so I got this from Nordstrom Rack and basically what it is is a jewelry holder from when you travel the only reason why I thought about this is because I was watching an Aaliyah's face vlog and she, I forgot where she went, I think, I think to like Palm Springs. And she was like, damn, I forgot all my jewelry. And I don't know what made me think about that, but I was like, shit, I'm taking a trip soon. And I have nothing, I never have anything to put my jewelry in. I always put in like little Ziploc bags, which is not, it's giving, no. So I got this and I'm going to like stick my little rings in here. And like this part opens, I could like put my bracelets and my necklaces and I could like put my earrings like through here, like mad cute. So if y'all, <laughs> don't say I never put y'all onto nothing. Okay. So, and then I made a stop at Burlington. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just felt like spinning today. Um... And I was on the phone with my line sister, and I just didn't know if I should get this scarf. But I was like, you know what? It's giving cute. It's giving fashion girl. So I got this scarf or whatever. Let me back up so y'all can see it. So it's like really thick. And when I put it on to show her, I was like, I like it. And it's real thick. I don't know. I think it'll be cute with my like casual outfits, like with like graphic tee, jeans, sneakers, graphic tee, jeans, heels, like a little sweatpants bodysuit moment. I think it will be cute with that. So, you know, you gotta start getting ready for the fall, especially when you live in NYC. So that's that. Um, I also got this shirt from Burlington. And it's a Nike t-shirt. It was $13. So 
I wasn't gonna leave it. It's actually a men's t-shirt, Mind Meets Grind. And this is for the gym. Um, it's kind of like a pump cover-up, I guess, is what the girls call it. Because honestly, I see why they like wearing shorts to the gym. It's f***ing comfortable. Um, I'm sorry, I can't just do leggings all the way down, trying to get them up. I, I can't do it. But this is like a men's 4X. So for me, and how like big my boobs are, it's going to definitely work as a pump cover up. Like, it's huge. Like, it's a 4XL. So, yeah, it literally looks like a dress on me, but it's fine. I like that. Um, and it has like the cute little graphic on the back. I don't know if y'all can see that. It was just really cute, and it was $13, so I wasn't gonna leave it. And I got one more thing that I'm hype about. Um, so I went to the Nike store and I see that the gym girlies, like, I really wanted to learn, like, what's the science behind wearing, like, the blazers and, like, the flat shoes at the gym because I, um, I lift weights also a lot and that's what's helping me, like, kind of shred the weight a little bit more and just, like, tone while I'm doing it. And I've lost weight doing that before, so I know what I'm doing sort of kind of um so well i know what works for me so i usually wear like regular like nike like running sneakers to the gym and like usually like when i lift waist my feet will burn and i don't know why i have flat feet but i don't know if the flat feet plus the running sneaker combo just doesn't work for me so I got me a pair of blazers. I seen these and they still happen to fit. First of all, they were 105. They went down to 54. Today, for some reason, there was like a super sale. It was like 20% off women's sneakers and then another 20% off clearings. I got these sneakers for $30. If that wasn't a sign, baby, I don't know what was. So I got them, okay? I put that top left. I love my cardi to death. High Williams, no X. If you don't say the record, give a fuck. Yo, yo. I put some ice on her hand. I let her take an advance. She wasn't going to plan. I put a shit in the van. She got a move with a friend. But she went back to her man. Give a fuck. I just put a wagon in the driveway. You know I did. When I shoot my shot, it's the whole wild way it's going in. Me and love sick on sitting sideways, breaking tents. Used to be an anti-social nigga, now I'm making friends. I just got a mansion out in Turks and it's a beachfront. Did she bring it for friends? I know I hit at least one. Got a mall tent and bought a pool and a grease stuff. Police in my city, man, I keep their pockets greased up. Me and Capo trying to leave my market piece to Easter. Ain't nobody make it too much money on the beach stuff. But I be for rapper. Cause I'm never with the sweet stuff Shawty came from Mexico, she know she got the sweet stuff Hey, niggas ain't got respect Niggas just got accept I put that top left I love my cardio left High Williams, no X If you don't say it direct, give a fuck Fresh, I love my jeans and they fresh Okay, y'all, so I just got home Um, I don't know why I have this mask on But basically, I went to the gym today to be completely transparent, I had an anxiety attack this morning. It was really bad. And I'm trying not to get myself to a point where, like, there's, like, there's no real way. I don't want to say that there's no real way to fight depression and anxiety. But you basically have to have to know what works for you. And for me, like a lot of other people, it is just 
forcing myself to get up and do something so I forced myself up to go to the gym but like halfway through getting ready I just like had a really bad anxiety attack to the point where like my grandma kind of asked me like what's going on and she kind of knows what it looks like when I'm having an anxiety attack so I ended up going to the gym it was crazy because I got to the gym at 11 like 50 whatever I didn't have to change or nothing I went with my clothes on um, and I wore my new blazer today I'm excited I was excited when I got there because honestly that workout was probably the best workout I've had I had in a while like genuinely my friend from Florida called me and we were just kind of like chatting and usually I don't chat on the phone in the gym but we don't get to talk often and the hurricane was going on and everything so I just decided like yeah like I'm just gonna talk to her so I ended up getting on the phone with her at like 11 55 and I just worked out I just did whatever I felt like in the gym for real which was like some squats a couple of like back and arm exercises I got on the stairmaster I did a whole bunch of shit but by the time I I like asked her I was like yo like what time is it like I don't know I didn't feel like we were on the phone for a long time I felt like we were on the phone for 30 minutes and then when I went back when she was like talking to me she was like she doesn't know because we ended up being on FaceTime halfway through the, my workout but um when she when I first looked at the phone and see when she first called it was like 11 50 11 55 and I didn't leave the gym until like 110 like I was like in the freaking zone even though I was on the phone or whatever like I was just like not thinking about it and kind of in the zone and like having a good time and I feel like I kind of needed that because I've been struggling with just like not even being alone being lonely because I can be alone but and I've like went out by myself done things like I've done the solo dates I've probably solo date every solo date there is to date um but you get to a point where like you want companionship like friends that are kind of available I understand that people have things in their lives going on I just feel like I need to find my people so yeah I don't know how I'm gonna do that because I get in the mindset of just this is where the anxiety kind of comes in of just like staying in the house and like not going anywhere or whatever but but it's because I just don't want to go alone anymore like I've done it so many times I've went I've gone to bars alone I've gone to lounges alone I've gone to dinner breakfast lunch brunch like I've gone to the movies I've gone to the arcade like I've fucking done it all like I've even went to the beach alone like which is more normal than the rest so i'm not gonna force myself to find friends or force myself to find a guy because that's not i'm not necessarily looking for like a boyfriend or anything i'm just looking for somebody that wants to genuinely hang out listen to some good music um and just have a good time and like have a good conversation I guess like i guess i'm just gonna keep trying because i mean that's all you could do well not trying just like allowing myself to open up to people but i guess that's you know whatever because as you can see from the last couple of blogs i've been in the house not by choice kind of by force because i just don't want to go out alone like i just don't want to sit there alone you know just typical millennial things that we think about every day maybe it's just me i don't know so today i am going to the gym it's friday if you been here you know what it is i'm going to the gym um i might be linking up with my sister tonight so i need to get in there get my shit together and leave and it's 2 30 so i should be out there by 3 30 i love to hear that i love to hear that so yeah so let's get inside let's get it going and then yeah they see it. As you can see, workout top tier. I forgot my headband today. So we're just, don't come for me. Don't, just don't come for me. There we go. So I need to go take a shower because 
I look like I was in the gym, y'all. No, because I work out. This Woman Best set, first of all, shout out to Woman Best because they're not sponsoring me yet. But this girl came up to me in the gym and she was like, oh my God, you look so cute. Where's your set from? And I was like, a woman's best girl. Yeah. She told me I look cute. And I was like, woman's best girl. And you somebody discount because it really does work. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to woman's best because it's giving. And the girls is loving it. And honestly, I look really good in it. I'm not mad about it. I think the top rides up just a little because I have really big boobs. But besides that, like, the shorts stay in place the entire workout. Entire workout. So, and it's giving me a little booty, you know. It gives me a little something to work with. Okay. So, shout out to y'all. I be trying to be a cute gym girly. Whew. <sighs> this is the brace. The McMillies is always going to be in the back. But I'm letting my hair grow out. Y'all see how much black well brown it's definitely gonna grow a lot but anyway okay y'all so i'm going out with my sister tonight and this is the makeup let me know if you guys want a full video on this. Real cute, real cute. Um, this is the fit. I'm honestly gonna untie this and wear it regular. I don't think I wanna wear it tied up. I just got like some little jewelry on, nothing too crazy. I really like my hair though. It's up in a claw clip in the back. Let me see if I can show you Like. I'm getting ready to leave. I want to go in the hallway and take some pictures before I go because where I live in New York, I just I have to find safe places to take pictures. Or I let my sister take some when we go where we're going, but it's getting mad hot. Um, I don't feel like my hair is going to stay. I'm really scared about that. So I'm going to take a headscarf. Let me put y'all on to game. If you ever feel like your hair is about to slip or your wig or whatever, take a headscarf. If you know your combs are secure, but you know your front might lift, take a headscarf. Turn this into a whole nother outfit. I'm good for going to the bathroom, going in the store, acting like I'm about to go pee, put on a headscarf, come out a brand new girl. Don't tell me I never told y'all nothing, okay? Alright, so let me go. I'm probably going to vlog on my phone for the rest of the night. I'm going to finish this TikTok and I'm out the door. The vibes is giving weird. Ha ha. Hey y'all, so I'm back in the house. I'm so tired. Why is it zoomed all the way in like that? Oh. Yo, 
I'm so tired. The DJ tonight was all right. It wasn't given what it's supposed to give. I like going out when there's a really good DJ, especially when I have, when I'm going to dance because like, it's just better. But the DJ wasn't given. I had so much fun with my sister and her friends. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna see y'all tomorrow because I am exhausted. Like, I didn't even drink that much. I probably had like two drinks. But this is just pure exhaustion. I literally cleaned my room and look at my bed. I cleaned it. I cleaned it before I left. Like y'all watch me clean my room. I'm literally gonna wash my face and I'm gonna clean the these actual clothes up in the morning because I'm so exhausted. But my makeup though stayed eight eight. Anyway, good night.